There's a growing shift in opinion about the dangers from sharks. Yeah, it's uh, safe to say that a lot of people have some fear of sharks, but scientists, well, yeah, a little bit, just, just a skosh. <laughs> uh, but scientists believe that that fear is not necessarily something that we're yeah. born with. This is very interesting. CBS 17's Liz Ortiz is here with what's really behind the fear of sharks and why it's changing. And just to be very clear, I'm not like afraid, afraid. It was I'm just, Jaws. I'm Jaws afraid. did it. I just don't Jaws jump did in. It. I'm just not jumping in the ocean. And, <laughs> and, but that's the thing. We've all seen and heard about the movie Jaws and scientists say it's movies like that that have fueled our fear of sharks. Within minutes of launching the drone, the first sighting, a juvenile great white shark eight to nine feet long in waist deep water off a popular Santa Barbara beach. Marine biologists from the shark lab go in for a closer look. For many, this is the stuff nightmares are made of. But scientists are learning fears of man-eating sharks are unfounded. The risk of shark attacks is extremely low. Psychologist Gabriella Hancock is working with the shark lab at Cal State Long Beach to understand what makes people so scared of sharks. We're not innately afraid of sharks. So it appears as though our fear of them is learned and socially reinforced. Even though these juveniles can be up to nine feet long and 600 pounds, they would rather avoid something as big as a person. In fact, if you do make a move toward a shark, they tend to go the other way. Exactly. Shark Lab Director Chris Lowe says these sharks are actually afraid of people, but despite the evidence, most people are still terrified of sharks. You're going to need a bigger boat. Scientists believe the 1975 movie Jaws caused a generation of people to develop galeophobia. It's an irrational fear of sharks. Well, it had a huge influence. It greatly changed how people perceive sharks. There's even a term for it, the Jaws effect, a belief that sharks intentionally attack humans. With popular media, it influences people's attitudes and perceptions such that it exaggerates the danger that these animals pose. A deadly shark encounter. Shark bite. Shark attacked. Media coverage of shark attacks can still amplify people's fears, but it turns out these images of sharks and people coexisting off the coast appear to have a positive effect. Shark bites are Powerball rare. Like your chances of winning Powerball are better than being bitten by a shark. But even faced with slim odds. That was amazing. That's actually the first time I've seen one in the wild. The fear of sharks is a hard habit to break. So guys, I can appreciate sharks and what they do for the <laughs> ecosystem, but there's nothing that's going to change my fear. It's, it's already set in so, stone. Okay, I I'm like not, sharks. I'm not necessarily afraid of sharks. I'm just mm. afraid of their teeth. So you're I mean, that's really the issue. Yeah. So. <laughs> Have you seen a toothless shark? <laughs> exactly. A toothless Not shark. Recently, Liz. We're good. I can deal yeah. with that. That's very <laughs> interesting. I didn't even know that was a thing, but that's very Apparently, interesting, yeah. Liz. Thank you.